Welcome back everyone. This is a brief update on the oil market. WTI's price stabilized higher since our previous report, something we had accurately predicted. Both the holidays in the US in the previous week, but also the positive news from the COVID-19 vaccines seems to support the commodities price. Despite the upward momentum, oil's price continues to be tested to the downside as some traders may not be fully convinced on the current fundamentals. This report will investigate the current and most important fundamentals currently driving the oil market. First, we look into the latest weekly oil market data as we search for any signs of change in demand or supply. In the previous week, the Baker Hughes rig count displayed an increase of 10 active rigs, now reaching a total of 241. In general, oil rigs have been on the rise since mid-September and have only seen a decrease in one week since then. Increased oil rigs can be a sign that demand for oil is currently on the rise. On the 1st of December, we received the American Petroleum Institute inventory levels that delivered a surplus of plus 4.1 million barrels. On the 2nd of December, the Energy Information Administration's crude oil inventories released a minor drawdown of minus 0.7 million barrels. The API and the EIA figures seem to counter each other, not providing a clear picture of the weekly change in the number of barrels. Overall, from all three pre-mentioned indicators, and in our opinion, the oil market could be under increased demand, especially as we get closer to December's holiday season that could possibly boost demand even further. In the previous days, the OPEC Plus meeting commenced in an effort to set out the organization's next year plan on the energy market. As the meeting started on the first of the month, the discussions have failed to reach any agreement so far, which seems to increase anticipation for oil traders. The uncertainty over the future may have derived from the latest surge that oil prices have seen as a result of the COVID-19 vaccines possibly being available in the next weeks or months in most of the world. So far, it had been expected that OPEC Plus would extend its production cuts in 2021 in order to counter lower demand. Now that countries are already setting their orders for COVID-19 vaccines, the sentiment may have changed and businesses, investors and individuals may be willing to be more active, possibly using more fuel on the parallel. These developments may have altered OPEX Plus expectations for future demand. If production cuts are extended into 2021, we believe oil prices could rise substantially, as in our opinion demand is already higher compared to the previous months. On the contrary, if production is lifted, oil prices could move significantly lower as oil usage may take time to recover to pre-pandemic levels. It also depends on the details of the agreement that the OPEC Plus Group may set. Thus, oil traders should be cautious towards unexpected headlines from the meeting as they may create volatility. As a final conclusion, oil demand may have risen recently but certainly remains fragile according to the current economic and health circumstances around the world. These circumstances, in our opinion, have more impact on WTI's price rather than the OPEC meeting or weekly data. As a closure, we could add that as we move further into the winter season, usually more fuel is needed that could support oil's price. Those were the fundamentals for the report. Please stay tuned for the technical analysis. Please note this is WTI's daily chart. WTI is currently trading just below our R1 4550 resistance level. The R1 has been tested various times in the previous days but has not been clearly breached as this is a 9 month high level. Furthermore, if traders are willing to stay bullish, the commodities price could move higher and test our R2 4750 resistance level. At the top, we have also set the R3 4950 line that could be reached in case of a continuous buying trend. In the opposite direction, if the sellers take over, WTI could fall to the S1 4350 support level. If the selling persists, then the commodity could head even lower to the S2 4150 hurdle, while the S3 3975 barrier is also a possibility in a prolonged selling trend. Yet, on a daily chart, the RSI indicator remains over the 60 level, possibly implying the bulls are currently in charge.
That's the end of this report. We hope you enjoyed it as well as found it useful. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy solid trading.